I didn't want to stand up there and have a relationship that wasn't working and, and be in front of all these people that I love and admire, my family, my grandparents, my mom, my dad, and basically lie. Yeah. That I was in, in love and I wasn't. That is and when... I was struggling. The most beautiful thing for me is that I could trust you with that conversation because I, I've, I've, I've heard stories, I, I knew of them that, that women had gone through with the process and then, and then life was not good yep. for them. Hey guys, I am so excited for today. One of my favorite parts of this work is the connections that I make. When you work with a client planning an event, you experience the full range of emotions, from the highs to the lows to everything in between. It's hard not to make connections. Sometimes people that start out as your clients become lifelong friends. And I wanna share that with you. I wanna share those stories, those adventures, those experiences, those connections. Whether you're a bride-to-be or an aspiring event planner, I promise you, this is gonna be the, one of the most rewarding, joyful, and priceless parts of your adventure. So I'm starting a little series. It's called From Bride to BFF, and I am so excited. I couldn't think of a better person to debut my new series with than Kay Souter Dixon. This woman started off as a wedding planning client of mine in 2012. In the eight years between then and now, we have lived a lifetime. She now lives in Sarasota. She's the mom of two amazing boys, runs a successful business, and she is unstoppable in everything she does. Kay has been an inspiration to me in so many aspects of life, from business to just life. She's one of those friends. We were actually visiting her last week in Sarasota, and then we're FaceTiming like a couple of days ago, and she said she was gonna be in town. So this is the friend that when she says that, you're like, oh, like that's what I did on the FaceTime. And I am so excited that she's here now. Welcome back to Roanoke. You know, it's always fun to come back here. Well, this is your home. You grew I up know, here. Yeah, and this is where we started out in our story. We did. Yeah. We did. I'm excited to share it today. Me too. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the day we met? You intimidated the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember, I remember doing a vendor show and yes. meeting you there. I did the jewelry. Yeah. I was selling I jewelry. Know. Yeah. I know. And I thought, oh, she's got to plan my wedding. Oh my gosh. I and I saw idiot. you, and I think you were with your mom and I was like you were so like perfect <laughs> you're all you are you're so well put together and oh you kind of like scared me a little bit yeah, I was, but so I funny. wanted your business at the same time <laughs> and I was you know I mean I wasn't I was into it you know a few years 10 years I guess into it so I knew what I was doing but for a moment I forgot everything because I saw you and I was like how am I going to plan the perfect wedding for her well because I saw the ring and I was like I oh. gotta have that business <laughs> <laughs> I need her <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I remember, I'll never yeah. forget it. Yeah. yeah. No. It was the start of something amazing. It was. It was. Yeah. It was. And then we got down to it. And it's funny because um, the venue that you were going to have your wedding in, I now run. I know. Like, and I had no idea. And it was actually under construction. Mm -hmm. It was the rooftop at Center in the Square, which is a historic building here in Roanoke. Oh, I remember our hard hat day. You were going to be the first wedding. Yeah. We were, could probably pull up a picture yeah. of the hard hat we day. To, yeah, I get it on Facebook day. memories. <laughs> um, and we just, we had so much fun. We did. Yeah. We did. You know, we just wanted, we wanted a unique wedding. Mm -hmm. We knew that you could provide that. We knew that all the details would be there, mm -hmm. that it would be over the top and it would be perfect to our needs. And I we loved that. having that because that's one of the things I love having a client who gives me something, yeah. you know, and you, and I loved your passion about yeah. doing your event yeah. and having it be, having it reflect your personality. And, um, and that feeds me, mm -hmm. you know, and makes me do better. Mm -hmm. And it was great. And I think you actually taught me to Zoom. That's where I learned to Zoom. Because <laughs> I remember we had a meeting and I couldn't figure it out. Yeah. And you were getting a little frustrated. And I figured out how to, how to do Zoom. So that's like historical. I remember, I remember my, mom come, my mom and I came to your house. And we sat at your dining table. 
And I just, I remember coming in and I'm like, oh, I love her style. There's like mixed metals. And I was like, oh, she's gonna do a great job. Because I don't, I don't like anything that's just normal, you oh, know? No, and no, you, no. You, you, you were no. just so sweet and you catered to us. And I don't know, I just immediately felt comfortable. Good, yeah, good. That's great. what I like to provide. Yeah. Um, and I felt comfortable too. And I, we, have, we had fun. Yeah, we did. And that's so important. You were actually gonna be the first wedding at that venue. I know. Yeah. Was going to be. Yeah. Was. <laughs> was. Okay. Keyword. So I remember um, we met to go over your invitations. Yeah. And um, something wasn't right. No. Or maybe, uh, yeah, I think it was invitations or table linens, uh, was, table yeah. linen swatches. And something didn't feel right. But, you know, I mean, we have off days. So I just yeah. kind of thought, okay. You know, it was on. The bride's day. having an off day. The bride's having an off day. It happens. It's like the full range of emotions. So, you know, I, I did my part. I, I think I, you know, sent you information and, and uh, heard back. And then, oh, I remember it was right before we were going to send invitations. You called me. Yeah. You called me. I did. Yeah. That we needed to talk. We needed to talk. <laughs> um, and I was like, okay. And I thought, like, I did something. Because that's how I always think it's me. Like, oh, God, what did I do? And I remember you telling me um, that your heart was not in a place where you could go through with it. Yeah. Those were your words. Your, t you, your words were, um, I can't stand up in front of all of these people that I love because my heart's not in this. Mm. Correct. And you know, <laughs> I, we had gotten close, we had gotten close to that point and like I knew yeah. you, you had so much going on and like I hurt for you, yeah. I felt it. Yeah, yeah, I, you know, I think the, the most beautiful thing for me is that I could trust you with that conversation because I, I've, I've, I've heard stories, I, I knew of them that, that women had gone through with the process and then, and then life was not good yep. for them. And yep. I didn't want to stand up there and have a relationship that wasn't working and, and be in front of all these people that I love and admire, my family, my grandparents, my mom, my dad, and basically lie yeah. that I was in, in love and I wasn't. That is and I was struggling. Of the most, um, what, what you did took courage. Yeah. Because a lot of women do go through with yeah. it. And a lot of women go through with it because it's what is expected of them. Yeah. Um, it's because they don't want to, like, you know, put anyone out or they don't want to disappoint anyone. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it happens. Well, and, and we'd already spent money. We had put money down. Yeah. I'm yeah. thinking in the back of my head, yeah. like, am I going to disappoint my parents? Right. Um, they've right. already paid for some of this. You know, we've invested all this time and energy. We'd already picked linens. Mm -hmm. You know, we had already picked the location. Mm -hmm. I had a dress. You had a gorgeous dress. I, had I dress. remember. It was <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking, how could I? How could I? How could I not go through with it because of all these things? But then, how could I go through with it and not feel what I'm supposed to feel as a yeah. bride, as a future wife? all of those things. And that was a moment of tremendous growth. Mm -hmm. Well, I just remember sitting down with you at the coffee shop and having yeah. this conversation and you being so understanding. In that moment, yeah. it wasn't about you, it wasn't about your business, it was right. about me as a person. Not me as a bride, me as a person, and mm -hmm. I trusted you. And you shared stories about your past, and mm -hmm. you said, I know, I understand. And I felt this relief that I could move forward without having this wedding, without any pressure, and that I was gonna be okay. In that moment, I felt I was gonna be okay. It was a Aside from moment. everything else, yeah. as yeah. a person in my heart, I knew that I was gonna be okay. Because all of those things, the deposits, the plans, the dress, you know, they're just things. Yeah. And, you know, but this is life, the mm -hmm. decision that you made. Yeah. And I think people get so caught up in those things, even when, you know, in the midst of planning weddings or events, that sometimes you just have to stop and breathe and, and feel mm -hmm. like, is this right? Mm -hmm. Is what I'm doing right? Mm -hmm. And you did that. I know. I know, which yeah. changed my life forever. It did. That decision, Caroline. Yeah literally changed my life forever in the most miraculous way for mm -hmm. the life that I live now. It sure did.
for the love that I have, the children yeah. that I have. I mean, it really was a pivotal time in my life, even though it was hard and it hurt, and I felt maybe I hurt people in the process, it still was the best decision I could have made because it was the right decision for my heart. It was, and yeah. I admired you so much, so much for it. So then what happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so crazy. So, so I mean, we, good. You know, I try to like retain a certain amount of professionalism, you know, even though you have a connection with your brides, yeah. you know. Fast forward a couple of months, um, I think you were working out the details of your home, of, because you had bought a home together. Yeah. And, um, oh, you were gonna move. remember. Yeah, yeah, well, I <laughs> remember, track. I remember Hold vividly. On, get, go back in the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. back in the time. And it was, gosh, it was a beautiful home. Um, you were gonna move into the Hotel Roanoke. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Miss Pris over here, moving. Um, <laughs> Pet so house sweet for one. <laughs> I remember you telling me I'm moving into Hotel Roanoke. And it sounded like, I don't know. So I don't, it just came out of my mouth. I said, no, you'll move in with me. <laughs> and what did you say? Okay. <laughs> At the time, um, who moves in with their wedding planner? I know. <laughs> so at the time, one of one of my daughters was living in New York, mm -hmm. um, and her room was empty. Mm -hmm. You know, so yes. you moved in. I remember you came with like all your clothes and everything, and you moved into her little pink room. I did her bright pink room? Yeah, yeah. And I oh felt gosh. like. I, I felt like I went back in time. I felt like a kid. I felt like I could express myself. I'm like, I'm in a happy, happy, happy room. And it was lovely. The time together, and I think it was two months, maybe a month? It was about a month. A little over a month, yeah. A little yeah. over a month. Um, we both grew. Like, we, um, yes, we did. you know, I mean, we like were on like this like, yeast free eating plan that you told me about. I was actually coming out of a toxic relationship mm -hmm. myself. Um, so we were like healing together, mm -hmm. but we weren't like focusing on, you know, like the stuff of what happened in the we past. Weren't talking about we it. were talking We weren't. No. We were like reading like books. I remember you introduced me to Abraham Hicks, mm -hmm. Ask and It Is Given, mm -hmm. and we watched like, you know, shows <laughs> and we had date night. Yeah. You know, we went yeah. to date yeah. night and we I would, would cook. cook. Yes. I'm like, you we're gonna eat clean and we're gonna get healthy. Yeah. And yeah. we worked out. You we introduced me you'd introduced me to Bikram Yoga. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 We had a really like dynamic time. Yeah. yeah. And what one month was for us was in a lot of ways like a lifetime of growth for some people and mm -hmm. that's th that's the way i felt walking away from that yeah, month me too was me that too. i had grown astronomically not only that but i got extremely close with your family yes so. oh you got children. very close I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and we're still i mean we like we're all up in each other's families i mean we're still so close yeah. and it's so amazing but yeah, you, you got you got very close. I don't know if you want to tell the story or not. Well, okay, for everyone <laughs> listening, okay, uh, and watching today, um, I am in your bathroom mm -hmm. and getting ready. getting ready for the day, and you just have this routine. Caroline's very routine, okay? Gets up in the morning very early. She makes bacon for her son <laughs> and brews a pot of coffee, okay? That was the routine in the household, so I always knew I had coffee in the morning, okay? Well, I'm in your bathroom getting ready, and Pierce... Butt naked. Completely butt naked. naked, okay? Yeah. Like, as you should be when you shower. <laughs> and I had just, you know, turned the water on. I'm going to get in the shower. And here comes Pierce. And he was, what, nine then? Maybe nine or ten. Nine-ish, ten-ish, yeah. 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 Um, Pierce comes in, and he's like, Mom, Mom. <laughs> and you're already in the car waiting for him to take him to school. And he goes, <gasps> Like, oh, 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 I'm not looking. And then he runs out of the room and I'm like, oh no, this teenager just saw me naked. So funny. what was so funny is, is the next day. Oh yeah. The next yeah. day he says, um, Miss Kay, um, <laughs> did you, would you come to my lacrosse game? <laughs> and I said no because you to tell his gone, friends he he's gone to school like, was and said <laughs> the hot girl living in my house was naked and I saw her and she's gonna come to my lacrosse game that's what happened so of course so no fun. I never went to the lacrosse game because I knew 
I would show up and then uh, heads would turn. Yeah, I think it was the first time he's ever, you know, seen. He still brings it up. He still brings it up. He and still now brings he's it going up. on 17. I know. So, yeah. And he's yeah. like driving and, mm -hmm. you know, I just can't even believe it. But that's how deep our friendship Yeah, are. it was just all those, those moments, fun stories. Those moments are the moments you remember for a lifetime. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh! What? What? So? Well, gosh! What do we? What? What next? <laughs> well, I think the beauty about it is, for me, is that I was able to move on. I was yeah. able to heal. I lived yeah. in a happy home. Mm -hmm. I healed in your home. I ended up moving downtown. That's right. So I ended up yeah. moving downtown Roanoke, yeah. and um, that was in May. Mm -hmm. And I got my own little bachelorette pad. It was so cute. It was so cute. Yeah. And I. I was living on Church Avenue, mm -hmm. so I'm on Church Avenue, and I walk downstairs one morning to grab a cup of coffee at the coffee shop, and there's a guy standing in line. Now, I've met Scott a couple times, okay? I've met Scott a few times through passing, okay? Scott Dixon, and I remember so vividly wanting to move into this one apartment and I heard Scott Dixon was moving in there. And I was like, Scott Dixon? And I'm like, this Scott Dixon guy, what, what does he need all this space for? <laughs> why does he need this 2,700 square foot apartment downtown Roanoke? <laughs> and I had no idea about him. So I see him getting a cup of coffee. And he's like, hey, you need help? But I'm moving stuff up to my apartment. And I'm like, sure, he's with a friend of ours. Mm -hmm. So he helps me move some stuff up into my apartment. It was like the knickknack stuff, like my jewelry and little boxes. I had already had movers come. And he helped me, he goes, yeah, you know, my mom worked for the company that did the architecture on this building. I wanted to see what they look like. Mm, I'm like, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, he wanted to see some architecture. Yeah, architecture. <laughs> so that summer, he and I keep bumping into each other. I'm living downtown, he's living downtown, he's working downtown. I remember. Because I I'm knew Scott you, before. I know, Scott did it's some work for connected. you. He did work for me. Yeah, lighting. He was managing Metro yeah, managing at the time. Metro. Yeah. yeah, yeah, managing Metro, was a late night DJ mm -hmm. there, you know, just had, mm -hmm. we had this little thing going, you know, yeah. and I'd go sit at the bar by myself. Sometimes you know, I'd be with you. And sometimes yeah. you'd be with On me. Night. Many times <laughs> you would be with me. <laughs> and so Scott and I started dating that summer. That's right. And we yeah. fell fast in love and ended up wanting to have a baby. I'll never forget it. Scott, we're sitting at Frankie Rollins on the bar, okay? Having a pineapple martini and a steak, and we're sharing a meal. And he's like, do you want to get married? And I said, no. <laughs> I just got out of this relationship. I'm like, there's no way I want, no, I don't want to get married right now, but I want to have a baby. And he's like, me too, I want to be a dad. So, yep. Pineapple oh, martinis do that. What is it? I think Pierce was the result of a pineapple martini. He was? A couple. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had one, and we got pregnant a couple months later with our yeah. oldest son, Kennedy. Kennedy. Yeah. And so, uh, so our whole life, of course, changed, and we decided to move to Florida. So right before we moved to Florida, and the reason for the move was to follow my parents, because I thought, oh my gosh, can I raise this child without my mom around? You know, I had all those thoughts mm -hmm. going on in my head. But before we moved, we wanted to throw my parents the most epic anniversary 35th. party ever. And who was your event planner? You. Yes. And oh, so what yeah. was so cool about it is instead of, instead of this wedding that I was going to have mm -hmm. in the past, mm -hmm. we decided to shift energy, hire a lot of the same vendors, mm -hmm. have it this just epic anniversary party for my parents, celebrating their 35th wedding anniversary before we moved. To Florida. I was so excited to do an event for you in its entirety. Yes, you and know? actually follow through. Yeah, and have like thing. it be and executed. It happen. Yes, <laughs> and I remember it was um, like a Miami theme. Yeah. Because your mom and dad loved the Delano. The Delano. So we the recreated that. Shears. Yeah, it was gorgeous. We did it at the um, Patrick, Patrick Henry. Henry. Yeah. And I, I'll never forget. So the 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 interior decor mm -hmm. of the Patrick Henry is yellow. Mm -hmm. Well, you wouldn't find a yellow anything in that, you know, at the Delano. Yeah. It's all white. No problem. So, so we, changed we it. completely changed yeah. it. You were like, let's do shears all the way around, mm -hmm. just like the shears mm -hmm. that billow when you walk in the Delano. Yep. So you helped recreate the entire room as if we walked into like a Miami sexy hotel. It was so, it was so and the gorgeous. Band and, the band. Oh, and you the were so cute. You were pregnant. And 
<laughs> I was. I was pregnant, dancing up on stage with my pregnant belly, doing Proud Mary. That's right. With the whole yeah. band and yeah. all the women. We have video. Yes, yes, we do. We have proof. It was it was so fun and there was so much love in the room and that's, you know, again, one of the things that, that feeds me, you know, yeah. is when people are like truly enjoying themselves and that's yeah. what your family does. Yeah. You know, well, and, and you made that happen for your parents and they were so grateful. Well, I love it when you, when I have an idea or the client has an idea, me as the client, to say, hey, I have, this is the kind of the vibe I want to create, mm -hmm. and this is what I want to do. And I had this wild idea to recreate their, um, their on their wedding day, they were all white. Yes! Everyone, and so yeah. my dad was in a white suit, I mean, we're yeah. talking 1980, a white suit, and my mom's, of course, in an all white dress. And I wanted to recreate that. And so I wanted all the guests to wear black. That's right. And yeah. to, for my parents just to wear white. And I'm like, Caroline, what do you think? And you're like, I think it's great. We're going to pull it off. The we're going to. Invitations. Gonna... They I were know. So cute. Yeah. I know. We're telling everyone remember, to like, wear black. black. White striped um, envelope liners. Yeah. And they were so yeah. clean and. Yeah. So gorgeous. when we looked yeah. back at the photos, we could always yes. find them. Yeah. And that's the true. Now we look back at pictures and there, there they are because they're all in mm -hmm. white. And I'll never forget their face. Oh yeah, walking yeah. in and just seeing. They were so all their proud friends. and Ugh. so happy, and I'll never forget it. Yeah. So I think that those are the moments that, mm -hmm. when you have a situation like this where it seemed like heartache and hard, it's turned into a friendship, uh, which we consider to be family at this point. Oh, I mean, we vacation absolutely. like family, we yeah. hang out like family, we connect yeah. like family. We've lived a lot of life together, and what the ten almost. What, how many years eight has it been? Years. Eight years. Eight years. Since 2012. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of life. So in December of 2016, my middle daughter, Sarah Beth, Sarah Beth Rose, uh, she was 17 years old. Uh, she went missing uh, one night, Wednesday, December 28th. She didn't come home. And um, of course, it's the most devastating thing when your child doesn't come home. Um, she didn't come home the next day. And of course, you know, I was talking to Kay. Kay was living in Florida. Um, and the next morning, uh, Friday morning, she was still missing. And that morning, Kay flew in. Um, I had a, a small, close bubble of friends around me. And um, there was no way that Kay could not be one of those people. Uh, she came in and she, um, we kind of had headquarters going. You know, of course, we had detectives. And um, Kay, like, just, she's a first responder. You know, she got in there and she found passwords and she, you know, did the work um, and provided the love and was just, just having her there would have been enough. Um, and so the next day, uh, Sarah Beth was found. Um, she had, um, she had lost control of her vehicle and um, driven off into a ravine. And um, I lost my daughter and um, that, was the darkest moment of my life. And when I found out that news, Kay was there. And she caught me, you know, cause you just, you, you just scream and you just fall. And um, you caught me. I know. So um, as you know, you wanna like lock yourself up, but life goes on, you know, and you still have to, you know, you got to be there for your other kids. Uh, you got to run a business, you know, um, life goes on. And um, this is one of the things that I am so grateful for because I was not in a place to run a business, you know, and it was January. It was the time when, you know, people are booking and, and new business is coming in and, you know, you're in the middle of planning weddings and um, as compassionate and understanding as everyone was and I'm so grateful for, you know, their lives still go on. And, and Kay saw that, um, and another best friend of mine who actually was a bride to BFF, um, the two of them took over and ran my business. You ran my business. I know. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> and you had your own business. And you had your own, you had a child at the time and a family. And, um, you know, I remember, and that brought me joy. You know, I remember we would have Zoom meetings with, with potential brides and, and Kay would be right there. And you, were, you love this work. Yeah. I mean, you're really good at it. You're yeah. natural. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so not only did, you know, was my business able to keep running because of her, 
but um, it brought me joy too. And I don't know if you know how much joy it brought me and lifted me so much. And, um, and that went on, you know, you, you did it for three months and then through the year you would check in. And, and the clients got to know you. Know. You know, the weddings came along and they're like, where's Kay? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh. and this, this was because we connected back in 2012, all of this. And it's still going, you know, now it's 2020. And we, we're not like the friends that talk every single day, but we're the friends that when we pick up, it's like we never left mm -hmm. and it's even better. Yeah. And um, you're a light in my life. You are. <laughs> like you're, the, you're the one that I like send Ooh. a picture to in the morning before leaving and I saying, know. should I wear this yeah. or should I wear this? <laughs> And so much, so much more. <laughs> so, you know, you talk about tears to joy. Um, so in the midst of all this, you know, one day I get a letter in the mail, like the real mail, the snail mail. And um, I open it, it's from Kay. And it, it, you know, I don't remember the exact words, but I had to scratch, you know, like a lottery ticket. And it's, will you be my, I scratch, and it says, bridesmaid. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm like the oldest living bridesmaid. <laughs> will you, yes. Yes. Oh, whatever. So, you know, and I, I knew, And first you know. of all, sidebar, there is no age here. I know. Like, can we just I say know, that? I know. There really is. On isn't. the record, there's no, there's age. no age here. No, because we're thousands yeah. of years old. Yeah. Um, in, in, uh, yeah. So anyway, um, <laughs> so of course I said yes. And, um, and we had already discussed, you know, Kay's, Kay's wedding. Um, well, I'm she, running your business yeah. while planning mine. She wanted me there as fully as a friend, as a, as a mm -hmm. bridesmaid. And, and, you know, of course I wanted to help, but, um, you know, and that was the best understanding that we came to, mm -hmm. you know, so, because I had so much fun at your wedding. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, your wedding was over there. It was so amazing. Well, I think it, 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 it's like, all right, you had already planned this epic anniversary party for my parents, you mm -hmm. know, and I know how you are. I mean, you know, you're, you, you, you're type A, okay? And you're like, I would have my hands in it. And I'm like, uh-uh, yeah. you're not having your hands in a bit of this. This is your chance to be a part of the other side and just yeah. enjoy and have fun and be a part of the whole experience. And so I, even though I had consulted with you, I'm like, how does this look? Is this right? Am I doing all the right things? You were there for me as a friend. You were there yeah. for me as a bridesmaid. Yeah. You were not there for me as a wedding planner. And I know that had to have been so just different for you. It was different, but it was amazing. I mean, I truly enjoyed being on the other side. Yeah. You know, and it gave me a lot of perspective, you know, just in my business and of how it feels to be on the other side yeah. and how, you know, it feels good to be treated so royally mm. as a bridesmaid mm -hmm. and what a bridesmaid should be doing, right. you know, because I hear all kinds of drama, mm -hmm. you know, of course you can imagine. So it, it just to have that perspective and to go through the whole process and it was so fun and that's how it should be. It was so I remember fun. picking our dresses. I remember that day we were all like on my bed. Yes. Remember like all of the bridesmaids shipped. and we tried them on yes. and yeah. we picked them out. We lined them all up. We picked them out yep. and 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 you were in my wedding. And it, it was, was perfect. So perfect. Yeah. We got yeah. to spend the whole like week together at mm -hmm. the island and just mm -hmm. be together oh, and it was it was perfect. It yeah. was lovely. It yeah. was magical. It was. Yeah. Let's do it again. Okay. <laughs> I think back um, at every moment and every milestone that we've accomplished together or traveled together or been through together and it has shaped my life in so many ways um, as a mom, as a leader, as a mentor. Um, it's not that I'm just grateful for our time together but I knew that God had work for us Oh, and I gosh, knew yeah. that every moment that we've experienced is, is not only allowing us to, to help other people, but to help each other heal. And that has been probably one of the most um, beautiful things so far that I've experienced in my life is just kind of the humility that I have now as a human being and how I'm able to raise my children and how I'm able to look through their eyes and raise my family because of our experience. So I don't know what it means for the future. I don't so know excited. what it means for the next <laughs> decade. I don't know what it means for the next 20 and 30 years. The next lifetime. <laughs> exactly. But I'm so grateful. 
And it's and some people may look and go, yes, was there death involved? Yes. But if you can take those moments and you can allow it to change you and you can allow it to to kind of mold and reshape you, then there's blessing in that. There's no question yeah. that God had a hand in bringing yeah. us together. And uh, a lot of times when we like take a picture or post a picture or there's a comment, um, you say no words. Yeah. Because sometimes they're just, there no aren't words, words yeah. for this. Yeah. And I'm so grateful to you. And so it's such a joy to watch you be a mom, to watch you run your business, to watch you do life. Some people may never <laughs> understand the depth, That's okay. um, but I'm just so grateful for the experience. And I'm so grateful that you trusted me to help you run your business oh, in that moment. Um, never hesitated. There's just, I don't know, I look forward to what the next eight, 10, 20 years break. Me too. Yeah. Kay, I can't thank you enough for being my first bride to BFF. I knew you would be perfect as the debut and you were. Thanks for watching guys. Thank <laughs> you.